Hi guys, Brand here, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the dev update that came out where Behavior is updating us on the things that are going to be coming through with the Castlevania chapter. And most of these are well-requested changes that people have been asking for since the PTB dropped and some that you didn't even know you wanted that are coming that are really awesome. Stay tuned, Nemesis fans. There's something interesting coming for you. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, Dracula, the Dark Lord, the big man, the big theme of the chapter uh, is getting some very substantial changes. Uh, of course, the one that everybody was looking for is like, why is Wolf Form so slow, even though it says it's faster? Um, they are changing it to make it to where Wolf Form is the same as the other two. But the big one here is that the Wolf Pounce no longer cancels when you hit an object. If you guys remember uh, trying to use the Wolf Form during the PTB, it was kind of frustrating because if you even slightly touched like a corner or something, you couldn't do your second pounce. Now. That's not the case. You will be able to pounce again afterwards, which makes a lot more sense and also makes them a little bit more similar to Wesker, which is kind of what people were comparing uh, the wolf form to to begin with with Dracula. So now that is going to be more in line. And honestly, uh, any, I, I, there's something I've realized by trying to do research into why people hate playing as the Xenomorph. Uh, one of the things they hate the most is the movement speed cooldown for missing. People don't like being punished for missing. People just want to get right back in the action and would much rather have uh, a punishment up front instead of a long cooldown after not succeeding. I mean, you see that a lot with add-ons like Destinger's Tin Can and stuff like that that are specifically made for this group of people that, like, if I miss and it's punishing, I don't want to do it. We've had a lot of really awesome, lovely changes, specifically to Bob and Billy. Just up to the exact thing where if you slightly touch something, your cooldown is, like, not nearly as negligible. They've also changed the hitboxes to not bump as much as well. It just seems to be, like, a good game design direction decision to make to make, uh hitting things a little bit less sensitive and make if you do hit them not as punishing so let's continue to do that uh with other characters it'd be really nice if we could do it for mine that would help a lot thank you but also uh dracula is getting a, another change as well it's going to be a little bit nicer to use their hellfire spell which was my favorite part of the character's kit the hellfire and the bat itself were my two favorite things that drew me to the character uh the hellfire movement speed is going to be uh better now you're going to be quicker while doing that and also the charge time is not going to be as long so yeah if you liked hellfire you're gonna like it even more because there's been some quality life changes to that so neat now here we come with the nemesis the nemesis the nemesis which is kind of wild because this change that he was getting already which was adjusting some add-ons and also making his tier up system better uh, is getting even further buffed which you know People that main nemesis were already super excited. They were getting the buffs to the tier up system as it was, and also finally making Liquor Tongue not a joke. <laughs> but now they're getting even more buffs, this increasing the range by half a meter in tier three, and also decreasing the tentacle strike cooldown overall. Like this character is actually gonna be really, really good and really, really solid. Uh, there was a lot of, speaking of Xenomorph, uh, a lot of people were questioning a lot, why would I play nemesis when I can play Xenomorph and not have to infect people and have a very, very similar attack. Now you have uh, actually a pretty good argument that hey well when i get into tier three it's a lot more worth it <laughs> and the the quest to get to that tier three is not as arduous as it used to be so now there's a little bit more of a back and forth between the two more of a conversation to be had because i used to agree with you i used to be like yeah uh, why would you not why would you say no to free map mobility and having the ability to injure people right away with your power instead of you know having to hit people three times to actually get them up on a hook and that sort of thing like why would you do that but now now it's not going to be a thing. So, wow, they just, they do be loving the nemesis. And finally, another massive W, uh, and not really, I wouldn't even call it like a massive W, right? Because like, <laughs> this was an unrequested change that nobody wanted. And then they just slapped it on last second and it, it just made no sense. So TLDR, the night cooldown, the, the universal cooldown that added that almost everybody who plays the character didn't recoil at, did not enjoy. Uh, has been rolled at, rolled back, rather, and now each guard is going to have their individual cooldown. This is one of those really, really funny, odd things that happened with the PTB, is that, like, the knight and their update to the character was, like, a really, really good one, and most people enjoyed it, and people were really excited for it to live, and when it hit live, they just randomly slapped on this universe cooldown thing that nobody asked for nobody wanted and then nobody liked <laughs> so like i wonder where in their testing they even thought it was a good idea to begin with what did they look at that said mm, that's gotta happen because nobody nobody in the ptb was like i hate this nobody in the ptb was like this would be a good idea so this came internally <laughs> so who internally was like yeah that that should happen um because it was a bad idea but thankfully they've walked it back which means that uh if you were somebody who was kind of holding off on playing night because it, the, the universe cooldown, down it's gone now 
So that's gonna be cool. There's also been some nice quality of life uh, buffs, like reducing the cooldown when you uh, smack a guard to get rid of him, so you can save on time. So that's also super cool. There's been some minor updates to the perks coming through with the PTB as well, like a reduced cooldown on human greed, uh, being able to keep the items you get from exaltation. But otherwise, it's a fairly short dev update, not as big of one as we usually have. Uh, but overall, uh, the changes are really nice. The, I do see people saying that like maybe Dracula will be uh, too good after this update, but honestly, like people were kind of back and forth on how strong they would be anyway. So, uh, I mean, I will just have to see how it plays out. Um, I, I, if there's something I've learned <laughs> doing this for so long, and as long as I, ha I have had this place on YouTube, is that there's always panic first and then it settles and then it's fine. <laughs> That's like 90% of Dead by Daylight's changes from PTB to live. It's, oh my gosh, this thing is going to blow up the game and be awful. And then it happens and we're good we're fine i remember when vecna was going to be like a new top five character that didn't end up happening i remember when the xenomorph was going to be a top five character that didn't end up happening i remember when when everybody said that chucky was like top three character in the game that's not that's not a thing people just kind of freak out <laughs> people just panic over exaggerate and i don't know it's just it's just the cycle. This is the cycle we go through is, ah, thing come out, thing scary, ah, gosh, and then it ends up being fine. So it does make these little, like, dev update videos that I make a, <laughs> a little less wild because I feel like it's more entertaining to be like, oh, my gosh, guys, they're releasing. They're they're buffing exaltation. This is going to be a new meta perk, and all the survivors are going to make the killers miserable. But realistically, the cycle goes that this will be fine, probably. And if it's not... We will let them know, and as we can see with this night change here, they're willing to change stuff that they get wrong, so... Um, hopefully they can continue to do this. Like I said, some of the stuff, like the design philosophies that they're applying, uh, would be nice on other characters, like Xenomorph, for example, of like not having such a punishing miss. Um, also, characters like uh, Trickster definitely need to be looked at again for their reworks. Um, so maybe roll back some of the stuff with the, the trickster boy himself as well and other characters that need it. Um, yeah, just keep up, keep, keep this like design philosophy going. It is the one that is mostly benefiting us and this update overall is mostly good. And I can't really see much wrong with it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for uh, when this comes out so we can finally play it. But what do you guys think of the dev update? Is there anything you're worried about or something that you like a lot? Let me know. Other than that, that's gonna be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching. But if I do not see you tomorrow, in tomorrow's daily upload video. I will see you when I see you. Bye. -bye.